Happiness is miles away, it takes about seven days to get there. And if you want, I'll be your man, I'll take you by your weathered hand and show you where. But my history is one big pit of bad mistakes with no regrets left to speak of. Still somewhere on that winding path, beneath the rubble of the aftermath, there is love. Now I'm living in a desolate world, another one night stand, another nameless girl beside me. She has a face that I've seen before, and every lonely girl at the bar that's tried me. And I'm swimming through the after stench of an evening so passionate yet empty. I grab my clothes off the floor, stumble through the darkness towards a door and say, Honey, I am leaving. She got up out of bed, never bothering to get dressed and came towards me. That's when I realized I wasn't just like every other guy before me. She said, you don't have to, but if you choose, you can stay another day or two. You won't regret it. That's when the strangest thing occurred. I said I was in love with her, and I actually meant it. Now I was trying to think logically, but the bedroom smell and her beauty were a distraction. I shuddered at impulsiveness and tried my best to make some sense of my reactions. In the past I have been in love, at least I, I think I was once. But it could have just been consequence or some chemical imbalance that I call love. Still, analysis is my disease, so I allow my conscience to reprieve my emotions. I addressed her and she agreed it would be best for us to proceed with caution. So I ran my fingers up her naked back and kissed the crescent of her neck sweetly. She was soaking wet with impatience, she let out a sigh of eagerness to scream. That's when she reached down for me with the softest hands I've had the luxury of knowing. She leaned down and kissed my thigh, both my loving and lustful sides were showing. On the bathroom floor we made love, after which I placed her in the tub and ran the water. I baptized her with my respect and washed all of myself off of her.